Happy weekend, everybody, and welcome to my all-new Let's Play on the Robler Flats 4X Multifruit and Factory map. This is a really good, nice map, guys, if you haven't checked it out already. Uh, welcome to the stream, everyone. Jason and Robert, hello, guys. Robert, I haven't seen you around in quite a while, man. Glad you guys can make it. So let me get some gameplay up on the screen for you. And uh, if you want to download this map, it's available over on Papa Smurf's site. You will need an account to download it. Just look on down in the description, guys, and you'll find a link to download it. Once you do so, you'll have to unzip it. Hello, Jeremy. Welcome to the stream, bud. So there's a look at the PDA there, guys. And as you can see, you have all kinds of square and rectangular fields. Really helper-friendly, and I'm really enjoying this map. It has factories built right into it. We got all kinds of multi-fruit here such as sour gum, clover, sudden grass, uh, corn too, tobacco, black beans, peanuts, rice, hemp, and rye. So you got quite a few multi-fruit there to work with. Plus we have factory items here, so let me go over to the price list and we'll go over here and see some of this extra stuff. There is some of your multi-fruit there. Some hemp products. I also have some apple, apples, some liquor, maple syrup, and then you have some uh, sawmill products that you will need to uh, palletize your product. <laughs> Nick back on big screen. Yeah, I'm glad you can make it, guys. Hello, Gaia. Welcome to the stream. I have this map. I don't know where to sell the rum see i think uh somebody else mentioned that problem i'm not a hundred percent sure but uh i will try to find out about that jason but somebody else mentioned that too my suggestion is just hold on to it for now because if it's a bug they'll fix it and uh you'll be able to sell it then but i did hear that before so i will uh i'll find i'll try to find out some information about that Oh yeah, let me go back here for a minute. So we've seen all the extra products here. We have uh, contracts on this map as well. You guys probably seen my review. I did a total review of this, guys, if you want to check that out. But uh, I figured I'd just go over a couple of basics right now. Uh, you do get a starting fleet, but in my Let's Play, I always sell off my starting fleet and buy my own equipment. What I did is brought a lot of the mods over from my last map, the uh, Ricci homestead map I just brought a lot of that over with me because most of that equipment I use anyway but uh yeah we have a few contracts no animals to start and like I said it's a 4x map so this is based off a real farm but unfortunately it's burnt down uh since then and uh this is the only thing to remind us of it but uh yeah it's based off an actual farm in where did I See, that was from, I have to check my notes here. Vermont, I think? Yes, Vermont, USA. So let me show you what's going on here. So I got a couple of harvesters ready to roll out. Right on over here. So we'll get hooked up to that and start it up. Whoa, whoa, where's that header going? It's got a mind of its own. go disconnect from that get turned around here so what do we what do we have here here we have some wheat we will start harvesting let's bring up the map here so I'm over right in the middle of the map by field three there field one let's get connected here hooked up get unfolded Let's get turned around here a little bit. No, let's go the other way. We'll start from that end. And of course, we're going to leave some straw behind. So I might put down a couple of fermenting silos too, guys, because I'd like to make my own seed and fertilizer. Plus, uh, I have another mod that uh, converts grass into silage. 
So we'll be setting that up too because we're going to get some animals going eventually. Oh, the branches in my face. Can't see anything. Okay, here we go. And off to the races we go. So what I'm going to do is just hire a worker for now. I have three harvesters. I'm just going to get them set up and I'm going to get caught up to the chat. Happy weekend. We're watching this on our 48 inch screen. Best way to watch. Wow, that's nice, Robert. 48 inch screen. Very nice. Yeah, it's been a while, Robert. That's for sure. The crew's not with me uh, recently. They're taking a little break. But uh, eventually they'll be coming back. Hello, Tanya. Seed and fertilizer are free on this map? Okay. I wasn't sure if... Uh, is there a silo already set up for that, Jason? Or... Because, yeah, maybe I won't have to do that. I don't know. I'm going to have to shave off the end of this field here because those trees are pretty close, aren't they? We'll just go ahead and take a line off here and then we'll set them loose again. So, yeah, welcome everyone. So glad you can drop on by. And this is our very first episode on a brand new map. And like I said, if you haven't seen this map, you're going to like it. It's a 4X multi-fruit with factories. My favorite. They're my favorite type of maps. In the back next to the cows, I think. Okay, I'll check that out, Jason. Thank you. In the back by the cows, okay. Okay, we're just going to get turned around here. I'm going to bring it on back. And we'll just pick up where we left off. I have some tippers over by all my combines. So we'll get right on the uh, harvest here. And what I'll do is I might buy some grass. Or not buy some grass, cut some grass, sorry. I'm going to have to pick myself up a uh, hunter ducks. Up a mower. But I think I got a nice modern mower, so. Okay, off you go. Let's hire a worker here and we'll jump over to our next harvester. So you can see the, the map, although they're square and uh, rectangular fields, it's it's a hilly map. You've got lots of hills. Look at that. Over in the distance, if you can get the branches out of your face. Yeah, quite a hilly map. They did a good job. This is a conversion over from 15. And uh, yeah, they did a fantastic job converting it over, I think. Take it. Look at look at the how hilly it is. I love it. I love it. Oh, let's fold up the uh, thing on that header here. Trees get in the way. Yeah, it might be a good idea to trim your fields first, guys, because I didn't realize the trees are kind of close to the field. So if you don't eat yourself, there's no problem. Look at that. Chugga, chugga, chugga. Okay, I'm going to stop here for a second because I want him to leave. Oh, straw is not... Okay, yeah. Uh, I forgot. Can't leave straw with the soybeans. I'm used to uh, old man's map. You can leave straw with anything, basically. Which is a good deal, but we'll just go ahead and hire a worker. And we will get our last harvester hooked up here. Hello, Mark Jones. Welcome. Terry, welcome to the stream, man. I had to use the trucks to remove some of the trees around some of the fields I farmed. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's right. They are close. I didn't realize that when I reviewed the map, but yeah, you might want to trim your fields. Either take the trees out or, uh, you know, go around the outsides by yourself before you hire a worker. Do you use Follow Me Mod? No, I don't, Mark. I could not find a buy point for cows on the main farm. Oh, you mean right at the cow pen? Maybe you couldn't uh, fill it up. I'm not sure about that one either, Terry. Both of us removed the trees around the field before working it. Helps big with big equipment. Yeah, it's a good idea. Trim all around your fields and you never have to deal with it again, right? I have chickens but not cows yet. I will go back in a minute. In a minute. Yep, slowly get your animals going. I usually don't add animals at first. But I will. Eventually I'll get there. But like I said, the, uh, the link is in the description, guys. But you will have to make an account if you're not familiar with uh, Papa Smurf's site. He has great mods over there, guys, and it's well worth the account. If you like the mods we use here, you get all kinds of that stuff. Okay, I'll just bring it back to the corner here. I'm going to have to move that truck, I do believe. Yeah, the trees are fairly close, aren't they? Okay, what are we cutting? Wheat? We're leaving straw. Okay, let's hire a worker. We're going to jump out. We're going to move that truck because that's going to be right in the way. Looks like... Who stopped? Did you stop? No? Somebody stopped. Okay, we'll just put this guy over here for now. And I have a loading wagon ready to go. I actually want to check on that other worker. This guy's still going? Now what did you do? What did you do? He, this guy just quit and went home for the day, guys. Uh, I'm done, he said. Do your own field. Look at this. Oh, I can't even get up that hill. Oh, no. This might be a problem. <laughs> I'll just try bobbing the, the header up and down, but that's not good. It might be just this harvester. Have you guys gotten stuck on the hills yet? I'm actually going to uh, stay with this guy for a minute because I'm going to trim this side of the field too. Ah, so yeah, we might have to do a little forestry here, guys. Get these, uh, get these fields straightened out here. Use a straw me mod if you want straw from other crops. Okay, is that what it is, Gaia? All right. Yes, at the pen. Okay, uh, I'll check that out, Terry. I never heard that one, but, uh, that could be a, that could be a problem. Is there a sleep trigger? There should be. Let me check here. Yeah, you should be able to stay at your farmhouse here. There's a farmhouse. Usually there's a sleep trigger inside your farmhouse. Nick, I still see you have issues with unreliable hired helper. Yeah. Must be you need problem. Yeah, honest to God. <laughs> Okay, this guy got by one solid uh, line here without any problems. So the hills might be a problem, guys. Like I, like I said, it could be this harvester. But I just brought this over from the, uh, the Ricci Homestead map, the mod pack, because it's basically the same size map, same multi-fruit and stuff. A, a few different things there. But, uh... 
most of this equipment will come in pretty handy here. Hello, Matt. Welcome to the stream, bud. No, no sleep trigger in the house. No? Oh, wow. You might have to put down your own, guys. You might have to, uh... Like I said, I took the mod pack over from Ricci Homestead, and that comes with one. It's like a set of, uh, chairs, like deck chairs, and you can save it there. Hello, Dixie. There won't be a sleep trigger if you start in something other than new firmer mode. Oh, okay. There's a good little tip, guys. You have to start in new farmer mode if you want the sleep trigger. I did not know that. So yeah, there's a there's a good tip, guys. That might be what's happening there. But like I said, you can download a sleep trigger if uh So that's good. Like I'm glad you guys are pointing out little things because, you know, that's how things get fixed. And, you know, Winston and Papa Smurf watched this channel. They're two of the people that worked on the map. And, you know, that might have been something that got by them. And I'm sure they'll fix it. So, yeah, just keep keep that in mind what Dixie said there, guys. I did it in new firmer mode. Where is it? <clears throat> I thought it was the farmhouse, but I'm, I'm probably mistaken. Usually you can stay at the farmhouse. That's usually a save tr a sleep trigger, but I wonder if it's in the uh, in the shop here if you can buy one. See, these are ones I brought over with me. See, these are f are from that mod pack from uh, Richie Homestead, and look, there's three of them here. So I just took that over with me. And then you can just set up your own, right? Providing that works on this map. I just didn't want to go have to look for a bunch of mods when I started this uh, Let's Play. I figured it's the same size map. It, it got multi-fruit on it. Uh, you know, all these harvesters and, and stuff are all built to uh, hold quite a bit. <clears throat> I was lurking till someone needed me. I let Papa know it wasn't a place to sell some of the triggers on the map. Yeah. Yeah, I heard the rum one. I heard that one before. Oh, this guy went too far. That's okay. Maybe I, I'm better off doing the field this way, guys. Because look how hilly that is. My God. Yeah, I'm just going to have to... Uh... That was actually the right way I should have been doing it anyway. I didn't even realize that, but hey, that works for me. And this guy quit for the day. It looks like he got stuck in his own swath. I bet he's stuck. No. This guy's like, to hell with that, and I'm going home too. It's a nice sunny day. I'm going home to have a few suds. Harvest your own field, he says. Yeah, that's quite the swath. He probably gets stuck on it. Okay, off you go. Let me check up the end here. Make sure I shave this side of the field as well. Hello, Billy Helms. Welcome to the stream. Um, Bumber D. Wolf. Welcome to the stream. Is this uh, map season's ready? Yes, it is. Also, I haven't been able to sell my maple syrup. Hmm. That might be another problem. But yeah, it's good that you guys are pointing this out. Like I said, they'll watch this and they'll see. Look, look, this guy is stuck. Look, that's what happens. Look, they can't back over the swath again, so they end up quitting. Arr, get off that. Okay, I'm going to shave up here. I'm going to turn the swath off for now just to, uh... Yeah, we're going to have to do a little forestry here, guys. Trees are a little close. Uh, 
Um, some of the equipment won't hold some of the things on the map. They are not. Yeah, that's right, Dixie. I, I was thinking that too. Because th there is like the black beans and stuff. It's a different. It's a different multi fruit. But I'd imagine the uh, the tippers that they provide will probably take care of it. Just not the modded stuff that I brought over from the other map. But yeah, keep that in mind. That some of that, some of the new multi fruit on this map that's different from the homestead map will not go into those tippers. There's a special sell point with the map 150. Yeah, that's right, uh, Terry. The whiskey products are in there. Looking at the XML, but sadly this does not work. Oh, that's too bad. But yeah, Terry's right. If you look over in the uh, shop. There is a sell point that Winston provides that gives you 150% of what it's worth. So you get what it's worth plus another half of that. So that is a good deal and well worth your time. I'm going to go cook. Go have a good uh, supper there, Jason. What's the best way to spend or send Papa Smurf? His website or does he have Twitter or something actually you can find my discord down in the description below Matt you can find Papa Smurf over there or the link below where you download the map is Papa Smurf site you can also contact him there my friend but yeah these things I'm glad you guys are pointing them out because that's you know that's how things get fixed and nobody's really complaining, you know what I mean? Like, you're just letting us know. Because, I mean, like I said, some things get by, you know what I mean? Like, these guys are uh, hard at work trying to get these mods going and go in the maps. And, uh, you know, if you bring it to their attention, they'll certainly fix it. You can reach him by Discord, but he is super busy right now. Yeah, Discord is the best way. But like he said, uh, Dixie said, he he might he may be busy, so. But it's worth a try. And I will certainly let him know if I'm talking to him. I will uh, let him know these little things. I think he knows about the rum. I'm, I'm pretty sure when he joined me last episode, somebody mentioned it, and uh, he said he'll look into it. Okay, let's let this guy go. Okay, where do we have straw? Let's look on the map here. Okay, field 31 has straw. Let's go over there. So this loading wagon is part of that mod pack. It's a BDB SSB mod and it works fantastic. Oh, the uh, Fent is part of the pack too. Look how fast it goes. Very powerful as well. But yeah, some of these mods aren't going to work on this map. But a lot of them will. So just be uh, wary guys. Because it wasn't made for this map. What? Oh. <laughs> here we go. I was like, what's going on here? Okay, let's pick this up because this can be turned into goodness for animals. And I have a handy dandy fermenting silo that will transform this right into silage. Hello, Mr. Jason. Hope you're feeling better, bud. Thanks, Nick and Dixie. I was only going to mention something after the next update since... It likely to get the message a lot right now yeah but it, no like I said guys it's great that you're mentioning these things like I, I think it's fantastic that's how the community kind of like clicks right and everybody you know things get noticed things get fixed and everybody's happy and 
you know, you guys are going about it the, the, the perfect way, too. Is that guy quit down there, La? He's done for the day, too. Oh, he's back. Oh, he's stuck. That's the problem. They get stuck on that swath, right? Look, okay, let's watch this guy. We'll hide behind the straw and watch him. What you doing? What you doing, buddy? Alright. He's like, the boss is watching. I better smarten up. <laughs> Alright, we'll let him go for now, folks. I mentioned it. Dixie checked it out, so Papa is aware of the issue. Yeah, that's right. Somebody mentioned the rum. I remember the rum uh, sell point was mentioned, and Papa was aware of it, so they'll definitely fix it. And uh, and the uh, the cow thing. I'll have to mention the to Papa too that. buying them at the cow barn is not working for some reason. There goes Johnny again, getting stuck on his swath. Look buddy, I, d I even shaved some off there so you wouldn't have any problem. Yeah, even if they can make a, you know, a moddable sell point that is just a placeable to sell these extra products would be fine with me. As long as you can sell it, because you want to be able to sell that stuff. Okay, we're just going to leave this guy here for now. We'll shut him down. And go check on the rest of our workers here. I got two seeders here ready to roll out, fully filled. Um, I was going to go over to the shop and buy us a plow because I turned periodic plowing on. Because I like to plow my fields. But I uh I'm not gonna bother with the lime. The weeds. But needs plowing, okay. Two doesn't need to be plowed. That's strange. But we'll leave that on there for now and we'll head over to the shop. So yeah, you'll notice these two here are the ones I brought over from Ricci Homestead. This one's included in the map, this one here, guys. And it's Winston's forklift here. And if you go over to placeables, is it under miscellaneous? Oh, oh, oh. Yes, under miscellaneous, right to the end, there's the uh, sell point by Winston 9587 that you can get way more money. So whatever you can normally get for it, you'll get another 50%. So like, yeah, 150% of your sell your sales uh, well I'm I can make one a sell point but I can't share it yeah that's right Dixie I appreciate it though both of us are watching for the release date of the next firm sim down here it is looking like early summer for us yeah farming simulator 22 I'd imagine if they release it the same time they release their new titles usually it's a uh, the end of October, the beginning of November. So hopefully that's when we're going to see it. I'm looking forward to it too, Robert. Hello, John. Welcome to the stream. How come you buy all the fields at the start? Just to make things interesting. I just want to keep things moving, guys. I know some people aren't going to like that, but yeah, just to keep things moving. Okay, let's get back here. Oh yeah, I was going to buy a plow, wasn't I? Okay. Plows. Actually, that's one of the modded ones.
I love this plow. This thing's awesome. This goes wherever I go. And it does quite a job. And we'll take this guy to the shop. Go for a little drive here. Two of our three higher workers are still working anyway. Here's our dog. Hey, dog. Haven't used this tractor in quite a while. The old Challenger. I usually just use the Fent because it goes so much quicker. No, I hear you, Mark. That's the best way to do it. I'm just doing it for the benefit of the Let's Play, just to keep things moving. I don't want to run out of stuff to do, basically. I know not everybody's going to like that, and I do apologize for the people that don't. Look. Look at her hired worker slacking off again. Look, I'm going home, he said. I'm stuck. Yeah, basically, I just want to, you know, I'll, everybody's pretty familiar with the game. You know, they've seen the, f the fields being harvested a million times. I just want to basically sh break down the map for you guys and show you what this map has to offer as far as factories, you know, the added multi-fruit, and just kind of get into that end of it. When both of us start a new map and sell everything, we if we can sell the house, we give her farmer a tent and he has all the fields oh yes very nice Robert hope this helps work for me cow buy point a cow pen is close to the wider wider gate trigger Thank oh that's a good uh there you go um who was asked was that Matt earlier that was wondering about that thank you Scott cow buy point at Calpen is close to the wider gate trigger next to straw dump trigger. There you go. Nice. Good eye, Scott. Okay, this guy seems to be alright. We'll leave him there for now. Yeah, I know. Not everybody's going to like the uh, same gameplay, you know what I mean? I just like to get a little jump start. I give myself some cash too, just to buy some of the decent equipment. I don't want to start with the vanilla stuff or the, uh, you know, the equipment they give you. I usually always sell off the uh, starting equipment and just I'd like to bring over the mods I like and just start fairly decently, so I'm not running across the map <laughs> a hundred times. Like this thing got a, a million liter capacity. I could have took three million. You can put it up to that, but you know. I'll calm it down a little bit. I don't have the 100 meter header out. I just got that harvester there and it works pretty good. It moves along fairly quick, but not ridiculously quick. Okay, let's pick up where we left off. Look at this guy. Uh, uh. Ooh. He's leaving too much swath behind is the problem. If you turn the swath off, you, pr you wouldn't have that problem, but you're going to miss out on your straw. But, uh, yeah, you might want to watch that there, guys. Look, I just left my vehicle in the middle of the road. I get sidetracked so easily. 
I like to multitask, but the thing is, if I get too many things going at the same time, I forget what I was originally doing. I always sell the starting fleet. Yeah, most people do. I just, I can't do the vanilla stuff. I know it's more realistic, and for the realistic farmers, you know, that's what they like, but I like the modded equipment. That's what I always tell people with the channel, you know, like, if you don't like crazy, they're not really crazy, but I mean, some of these are modded mods, like, they're not just lightly modded, they're made to hold a lot, just so you're not running to this, your silo bank constantly, you know what I mean, have to empty a harvester five or six times on the field, you can just kind of let them go, you know, but I understand some people don't like that, and I totally get it. I understand it's just not for everybody but that's the cool thing about this game guys you can play it however you want and as long as you're having fun playing it that's all that matters okay we'll just leave this guy here for now and we'll continue on to the shop Hey folks, I know this is off topic, but I'm having a tough time with the Homer Harvester and 10 fruit. Oh, is that right, John? No, that's all okay. Anything farming simulator related, you can ask. Homer Harvester and 10 fruit. I'm not sure what you mean by the 10 fruit one is bounces like it's off balance. I'm not really sure what you mean by that, but I haven't had any problems with the uh, Homer. But I haven't used it on this map either, so... No problem, John. Yeah, I'm not sure, too sure what that could be, John. Maybe somebody else can answer that, but I haven't noticed that anyway. The one I reviewed last year. Is that, let me show you here. Uh, over at the shop. Is it this guy here? This Homer? I think that's the same one. It was just uh, remodded a bunch of times. See, this will work with some of your multi fruit guys, but it won't work for everything that this, like, this is not made for this map because there's black beans on this map that this isn't going to work for, and you're not going to be able to put it in this tipper here. This truck here is awesome, guys. But, uh, yeah, unfortunately, the multi fruits that are on this map that are not on the homestead map, you're not going to be able to put it in this. But I'm sure you can use one of the uh, tippers that came along with the map. I also use the Follow Me mod for certain jobs. I used to use that back in 17. I don't know. I just never bothered with it, really. Usually we play multiplayer. So uh, usually we help, kind of just help each other out, right? But uh, that is an awesome mod, Follow Me mod. I usually only use things from Papa and a few others. Yeah, that's right. That's the same as me, Dixie. West Texas map. Okay. Big dog in the house. Where do you get a lot of your mods? Uh, just like Dixie said, over on Papa Smurf's site. Um, a lot of the m maps I review from Old Man 102 and uh, Dadgenet, they have their own mods built right into the map. So uh, the great thing about that is they provide everything you need to play on those maps so what I did and I, d I never tested it but I brought over the mod pack from the Ricci homestead map because a lot of these mods you know will work with this map it's kind of the same size but the multi fruit you'll have to watch you'll probably have to use some of the in-game tippers to uh, deal with some of that Just with sugar beets. He's talking about the crazy wide harvester, that huge 
but it only holds. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not too sure about that one. If it's if it's doing that, I haven't uh, used that mod in a long time. Yeah, I just used the one that came with the uh, Richie Homestead map. It seems to work really well, but like I said, it's it, some of the multi fruit on this map. It's not going to work for such as. Let's take a look at that. Sargum, you I think you might be all right, but uh, clover I don't think. Sudden grass, corn too. Uh, I don't think around the other maps tobacco. I'm not sure black beans definitely not uh, The rice and the peanuts will work. They should work uh, the hemp as well and rye. I'm not sure about I just kind of forget Yeah, Papa has good mods over there guys you just kind of kind of look around and uh if you like the mods I use here on the channel, you're going to like the mods over there. He has some realistic stuff too, but he does have some modded stuff that we love. People that like his work will love his work. Because he does such a good job and he like, he helps out other modders too by correcting errors in their files. He always gets permission to do so. And yeah, he, 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 he's known in the community for uh, fixing up mods and stuff. But yeah, like I said, he has some great uh, mods over there on his, on his uh, website. Okay, one of our hard workers stopped. Let's go check and see what he's up to. This guy's flying along, doing just great. I'm just going to intervene here for a second. Because I want to make sure he gets this all-in-one shot here. Okay. Off you go, sir. This guy's still doing all right. This guy's like, no. Not having it. Not having it. Okay, we'll just get flipped around here. Yeah, look how hilly this is. And this thing's awesome too because you can get two rows of swath in one. It has a great work speed and it holds a lot, especially if you get the extended cab. Yeah, there's here's another mod. Wherever I go, it's coming with me. Ducks. What this guy do? Look, this guy quit for the day too. I gotta go to another hiring agency. <laughs> Get some faulty hire workers here. They're getting stuck in their swath. Come on, you're moving. Just bounce the header till I get out of here. There we go. And off you go. I think this guy's done. Let's get him over here. What field is this? Field one. We'll get some straw. Get the loading wagon over here. Pick up all this goodness. Okay, I'll just step back and use the narrow harvester. Does global company work on all maps? Not all maps, big dog. No, some maps don't require it at all, at all. 
I usually pop it in there just in case, but usually the map, when you download it, if you read the description, they'll tell you if you need it or not. Now, as far as I'm aware, they're not allowed to include Global Company in with mod packs. That's at least what I heard. So usually you gotta, you know, make sure you download it. And always check and make sure you have the most updated version of Global Company too, guys. It only takes a second to run over Mod Hub and uh, just make sure. Because that'll definitely affect your gameplay if, if it's uh, not compatible. Oh, thanks for the help. Found the buy trigger now. Oh, that's awesome. Good. Yeah, good eye. It should be, Doug, but some don't need the global company for the factories. I'm having trouble with it. MRG mapping new map. I use Agco Ultimate Edition Harvester and Header. I have no issues with the large swath. Oh, that's cool, Terry. Yeah, it might be this harvester. -y. He, it seems to be this harvester. Okay, let's put that away. Ducks. Okay, we'll just pull you to the side for now. Oh, start it up. We'll get disconnected from the header here. Maybe we can just draw. No, we're gonna get disconnected from the header. We'll get set up to get this guy over to the next field. We have traffic on, so I can just get him on the road here. But there is traffic on this map. Off the road, bird! So we get a silo patch there. We can store some grain in. Or is that a cell spot? I think that's a cell that's the ranch yeah that's a cell spot okay where are the uh, silos at farm silo right here at the farm there's also another one here okay we're just gonna leave this guy here for now and this guy we're gonna get emptied and we're going to get the loading or the yeah loading wagon over here to field one, but we'll get turned around for now. And we'll bring this back to the farm. Simon Family Farms. Never heard of that one. It just came out. Hmm. I'll have to keep my eye open for that, uh, big dog. Puppy has woken and driving us nuts. Sadly, I need to leave. That's okay, Terry. Give your dog some loving, man. He'll keep you busy for the summer. <laughs> but thanks for dropping by, bud. Always a pleasure. Okay, let's swing on in here. We'll drop our weed off. That's got a different te texture to it, doesn't it? Wheat doesn't usually look like that. Yeah, I love the farm set up here. It's kind of a sad story that the, it all burnt down in real life, but at least they have this to kind of, you know, it lives on through this game. But yeah, sadly, this uh, farm burnt down. It was... Uh, Located in Vermont, USA. Mr. Dean, how are you, sir? Long time no see, bud. It's on MRG Facebook page. The built-in silo empty out, so... Uh oh it, it's slow, slow, yeah. Oh, that's too bad. Catch you all later. See you, Terry. Have a good one, bud. Okay, I'm just going to pull this guy to the side until we figure out where our next service is. You can get water here, guys. There's a few triggers around the farm here. Okay, moving on. 
guy's probably done too. He's actually right beside me here. He's down over the embankment. I couldn't even see him. Did you finish? Yes. You get a promotion. No. You just get to keep your job. <laughs> Okay, let's get this guy emptied out. Coffee time, Robert. Go get your coffee, sir. And how's our last harvester doing? I'm stuck on some more swathies. This guy's having a hard time over on this field, I'll tell you. Sometimes they, it seems like when I'm watching, they they kind of get it, but when I leave and come back, sometimes they're gone. They just kind of gave up. Okay, off you go. This guy's filled. Okay. Gonna give him back to the farm, get him emptied. Soybean, we got some soybeans, very nice. Yeah, a lot of forestry on this map, guys. Tons of forestry. Just kind of scattered everywhere. Looks like we got some corn over here. The corn or sunflowers? Sunflowers. We'll have to get a header for that. It's over in 16. Our firm's right through these trees here, but it doesn't look like I can. It looks too thick to kind of cut across. Oh, well, there's a road here coming up. Right on down here. I just want, yeah, I'm pretty sure there's a sleep trigger in here, man. Like, you can't get in through the front, it's locked, but you can get in through the back. Uh, let me see here. Let's deactivate our flight. I just want to check that out because I'm pretty sure there is. I, I'm just something, I'm kind of remembering something from the review. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's in the bedroom upstairs, but we'll check it out here. No, I'm thinking of something else. My bad. I thought there was a bedroom up here. I'm thinking of something different. Unless there's another bed down here or something. Oh, look. No. You're right. My bad. I'm thinking of something else. Just want to check the rest of the house just to be sure. Yeah, I remember this map was, or this house was on a different map, and you can open all the doors. Yeah, I guess not. <clears throat> Back in we go. Get some soybean put in our silos here. Yeah, that's coming out kind of slow, isn't it? Uh, how come I can't control? Oh, there's the discharge. Cool thing about this truck, guys, you can uh, 
alter your discharge speed. See over in the top left hand corner where it says U. You can, uh, it says standard discharge there, so it's coming out at a normal rate, but you can put that, you can switch it, watch, to fast dis discharge, super discharge, and it'll just dump it. So I'll go with fast, just to show you the difference. See, that's, and if you press the super fast one, it'll just go blip, and that's it. So, you know, if you got this thing set up for 3 million liters, you don't have to wait around to uh, get it emptied. We'll just leave this here beside the other guy and see how this guy's doing. He conked out again, didn't he? I think he did. I think he did. Okay, we'll just leave this guy here for now so not to get in the way. Run up here. And pick up where we left off, or where this guy left off. He's having a hard time with this field. It's not even that hilly, it's not even that bad. It's just the swath he's getting stuck on. So much has fallen out at the end of the row because if you notice they stop at the end of the row then they back up so it's kind of getting like a double layer and plus look how fast this guy's moving so a lot's going to drop out at the end right sorry guys i just had to grab a drink of pepsi here okay where did my other I haven't seen that guy. Did I sell him by accident? There he is. It's taking me ever, forever to get this guy to the shop. Yeah, we'll take a little drive through town here, folks. Jump on in. But overall, beautiful map, guys. I think they did a really good job on the conversion. I know there's a lot of trees. Little, little things here and there but nothing that can't be fixed. You just gotta bring it to their attention and I'm sure he'll get it fixed when he gets a chance. So here we have the Happy Hippie where you're gonna sell your hemp products. We got a place to sell some wool over there. McDonald's. Did I pass the shop? No, it's coming up. Up ahead we have the shop and the animal de dealership. And there's a big old sawmill on this map too guys. Where you can make all kinds of wood chips. Coffee time here now. And, and entails filling two by one pint tankers. Susie now has one also. <laughs> two tankers. So something here that kind of weird here happened too and I didn't realize it but I'll bring it to your attention. If you know how sometimes when you're purchasing stuff from the shop if you buy too much and it can't fit in the parking lot it'll actually spawn somewhere else. Now I was one I got a loading wagon and it wasn't here in the parking lot and I did not know where it was here where it ended up spawning quite far away actually. The shop is right on over here. That loading wagon appeared down here. Right here. So if you fill up the parking lot at the shop and you notice some of your equipment's not there, look right above field 33 here because that's where I found my loading wagon. It just appears down here. Trees are uh, chipping time equals money beats logging. Yeah, you can make some good, good cash with wood chips. We need a bigger kettle. <laughs> Um, did that go, oh, there's the plow there. I was going to say, did that end up going down there? But just keep that in mind, guys, because I was like, I had to double check my garage, and it's like, did I purchase that? I did, but uh, yeah, 
Usually it, it spawns like across the street or something, but that was quite far. Like I said, you know, you, you expect your equipment to be here, and it was way down here. So just remember that. If it happens to you. Okay, plow's ready to roll out here. Let's see what needs plowing, guys. Okay, one. See, they're not seeing they need plowing now that I have them done. Okay, one is done. And we can plow one. Okay, let's bring him over to field one. And we're way over here at the shop, so hopefully we won't bang into any trees or anything, because the uh, plow is quite large. Ooh, I'm just having... It's not turning very well. Very tight. Oh, let me get straightened out here. Good thing about the anything with tracks, it can pivot pretty good. So some of the monster equipment might be a little hard to move around this map, but uh, like Robert was saying, he uses the big equipment, but he just had to do a little forestry work around some of his fields to uh, to kind of give himself a room. It's supposed to... Thank, thanks part of your firm. Okay, hold on. That's part of your firm. If you reset something. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah, if you reset it to the farm, I guess it would appear there too. Is that right, Dixie? Yeah, that's right, because it's right across the street from your farm. That makes sense. so used to the Fenton and, and driving like at 120 kilometers an hour instead of 43. Use the store delivery mod when using big equipment. Right on. Yeah, it's a good idea. Just get it outside your farm instead of having to go all the way down to the shop to grab her. Here's the apple orchard here, guys. If you haven't seen it yet, there she be. All you have to do is add some manure, water, and fertilizer, and you got some apples being produced. Love the triggers. Apples. Hillcrest Orchard. Vermont. And there's also a place to uh, make maple syrup too, guys. So that is pretty cool. Yeah, I could have just reset this to the farm, but let's go for a little drive. <laughs> yeah, you do. You really get spoiled with some of the equipment. Like, look how slowly I'm going up the road here. You know, some people can tolerate that if you're used to it. But, like, the fence, I'd be there by now. You know what I mean? And you kind of get used to that. You're just, you want to just get there. Tim Horton's Coffee Mama. Hello, welcome to the stream. Glad you can drop on by. So it's almost June, guys. We're heading into the summer months here. Thank God, thank God. Except for Robert, he's heading into winter down there. They're just the opposite of us. I heard him mention something about snow earlier. I don't want to see that for another six months anyway. But yeah, it takes a while. When using the vanilla equipment, this is a 4X map. Imagine using the vanilla equipment on a 16X map. I'd have my hair ripped out. I just, I wouldn't have the patience. 
Plus, I mean, it's not very exciting to watch somebody plowing a field or harvesting one field for two hours, you know what I mean? Like, to me, it's that's not interesting watching. I just like to keep it moving for you guys, because I know you've seen this aspect of it already. Most of the people on the channel here, you know, they've seen the fields done a lot. And uh, I just wanted to uh, do some of the advanced stuff and get into some of the factory and just show you how that works. Who left that harvester in the middle of the road down here? Terrible, terrible. Oh yeah, it was me. Oh yeah. Okay, we're just going to leave this guy here for now because we're not going to plow under all that goodness over there. We'll get him set up here shortly. This guy's emptied. We'll get him set up. For a road trip, get him over to the next field. Just get him off the field for now. Okay. And this guy gave up for the day again. Come on, bud. Let's get her done. Yeah, he is not liking this field. This guy gets got stuck a lot. Uh-oh. Seem to be really stuck here now. Okay. It looks like we're going to have to give him a little push here. Super strength on. Do I have anything else going? Yeah, I gotta turn this stuff off or it's not gonna work properly. Super strength is on. Why can I not lift you? My powers, my powers are fading. I can't move this guy. What am I doing wrong? Hmm. Got my flight off. My reticle seems to be gone. Yeah, he's, it's not letting me grab that for some reason. Docks. Huh. It's not working, guys. My powers... My powers are not working. Okay, let's try giving him a bump with the old loading wagon up here. I wonder why that's not grabbing. Let me try that one more time. I should be able to pick that up. I don't know why. Super strength is on. Hmm. Yeah, I'll do that, Dixie. That's the first time I've seen that not work, though. Sometimes it's a little cranky, but it's like not working at all. I seem to have lost my reticle, too. It's There's no reticle on the in the middle of the screen. Well, we'll just try that. Yeah. There. That'll teach you. Can I lift now? That's so weird. That is, it's just not working. Oh. Oh, 
Okay. Yeah, for some reason I can't get my uh, my thing up on the screen. Everything's blank. I can't even press. Uh, there, we can get that going. Get over to the shop, but I can't bring up my information on the screen. Like my mini map's not working. I don't know what I did. <clears throat> but anyway, we'll just continue on here. And pick up this straw. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, it, I don't know. Maybe it's this map is not liking the uh, the dev tool. Could be that. Yeah, no, what I wouldn't doubt it. I'm scared to open my log on stream because it might be a mess. <laughs> I didn't check. Like I just brought all those mods over, but you're probably right. I wouldn't doubt if some errors are showing up. Let's just take a quick look here. Yeah. Well, it's just particle warnings here. I, I see one error. Hmm. Yeah, something's up there. Nothing game-breaking, actually. It's just uh, I kind of lost my HUD here for a minute. Looked like that truck was driving across the field there for a second. Yeah, something happened because I lost my HUD. It will be a mess. <laughs> yeah, see, I didn't... I should have tested these mods on this map. I kind of just grabbed them, downloaded the map. So some stuff might be causing some issues. That's the thing, guys. you got to be careful of that. And our harvester got stuck once more. Reaching mods are made for reaching mats. Yeah, that's right, Dixie. I just took a chance and... I knew some of this equipment would work. That's why I took it over. But I should look for some mods like that can just use for this map. Like I said, nothing, nothing breaking the game so far, but... Look at that, just, just wide enough. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. I almost want to keep my eye on you, because you're going to stop again, aren't you? Well, we'll be catching up with you for in a second. Try to set on the hub, on the menu, not on the dip tool. Yeah, I, I hear you. I hear what you're saying there, Rob. Yeah, try to do it through there instead of using the tool. I get you. That's probably. I'd say the dev tool is probably uh, not cooperating. That's what I even found on the Ricci Homestead. Like, if I teleported too much, the triggers were kind of getting messed up. But once I saved it and came back, it was fine. But once again, it was nothing uh, game-breaking there either. It was just kind of inconvenient. All right. But is he still up in the air? No. Okay. Let's stop you right there. Get you folded up. And shut you down. 
Okay. Actually, I should, do I have enough room to get yet tipper in there? Yes. I can't see what field we're on. <laughs> okay, 31. Let's find a tipper, guys. Thirty-one. Yeah, it's inconvenient. I can't bring up the mini map there. Press F1, F1 to see it. Yeah, I look, like it's it's just not working at all. F1's totally not working for me. Usually, when I press the O key, when I activate my flight through uh, through the Easy Dev, the O button will clear your HUD as well. It seems to be stuck off. But you're right, F1 should override it, but it's not having any effect right now am I heading in the right direction yes yeah for some reason the F1 I'm pressing it right now doing nothing is this 31 yes Oh look, I had a tipper there. I didn't even I forgot I brought him over. Oh well. Not a big deal. But that's my own doing, guys. That has nothing to do with the map or any errors on their part. That was me bringing over these mods. I should have checked them out first. Like I said, I knew most of them would work, but I think that easy dev tool is uh, throwing some errors. Go to the menu, then the tractor. For a second. Go to the menu, then the tractor. Yeah, it's still not working there. I, th I th if I'm getting what you're saying, go to the menu and then the tractor. I tried uh, getting into it from the menu, but it F1 seems to be still not working. Yeah, I don't know what's up there. Okay, I'm going actually going to get you over to field one. Four settings. You mean here? Oh, wait a minute. Is this what you're talking about, Rob? Over on this screen? Traffic off, dirt off. No, the pictogram of the tractor for settings. Like this, this here? <laughs> I think you're talking about this here, but the pictogram. 
Yes. So here, where can I adjust that? Or get the, this so I can get the F1 working. Go right. Sorry, man. I'm not trying to frustrate you. I just, I'm not really getting what you're saying. Go right. Go right. Go right. Uh, plant growth. Periodic weeds. Auto save. Do you mean like on the right hand side of the screen here? I don't see anything that says anything about the menu. Tragic dirt, automatic. I must be missing something. I'm not sure which setting it is though. I don't see anything here. Just plant growth and crop destruction, lime, weeds. I'm not too sure. Just meanwhile, I'm going to get this guy over to field one. No, on top. So do you mean go over here? Like over to this one? Over to the right up top. Let me try this one. Radio, input, help, mode. The screen. Okay. Easy arm, look, inverse, vehicle, camera sensitivity, steering. Window help. Oh, she's getting a little sluggish here. Don't crash. Oh my god, I thought it was going to crash for a minute. Window help on. So that's all on. One right. Interactive zones. Field info on. Let's see if that does anything. Man, is it ever sluggish right now? One right. Yeah, it doesn't, it's still not working for some reason. I turned that stuff on, but yeah, unfortunately it's not coming up there. Go on top, one right. Like this one here? I'll try this one more time. No. That's okay. I'll, I'll get it figured out. I don't want to waste too much time with that. But I, I appreciate the help there, uh, Rob. I know you're just trying to help, man. I am Queen of Ricci, LOL. So I've been called. Yeah. If you have any questions regarding the Ricciville stuff, guys, just ask Dixie. Like, she definitely knows her stuff over there. She helps old man test the maps and stuff, so she knows quite a bit about them. Nick, go to the four squares. That one. One, two, three, four. Yeah. 
No, it wouldn't be that one. One, two, three, four. It keeps going off here. I don't know why. Let me try saving it. Oh man, is she ever sluggish? Yeah, well, it's... I don't know, guys. Look, you see me turn it on, and watch when I go back, it'll be off again. See what I mean? I'm turning it on. Next to the screen image. You mean this one? I don't think you mean this one, do you? I'll just wait here for a second to see what you say. The, the screen image, like this here? <laughs> yes, and the trains too. Man, that, uh, yeah, I keep turning it on there, guys, and it keeps turning back off. Big Haas Entertainment, no problem. Dixie's good with, uh, with all the old man's reachy stuff, man. If you guys have any questions, like she can definitely answer that. That's I totally forgot about that. You gotta press a different button to get into the uh, tr trains and the boats. I do believe on those maps. I'm just gonna pick this up so I don't have to keep swinging in here. I actually might pick up. Here, I'm going to squeeze over here and just pick up half of that, too. Yeah, I'm on the right setting there, but like I said, it's, uh... It keeps switching back off as soon as I leave the screen and come back. Yeah, something's telling me that uh, the dev tool is is given some complications here. It's conflicting with the other stuff. Because, yeah, F1's not working at all. Like I said, when I come over to here, it's hesitating too. Like, I shouldn't see my cursor there on the screen. It's actually showing the spinning blue thing. But, uh, see help window here? It says it's on now. That's oh, that's surprising. Colorblind. I just want to make sure there's no other controls. Inverse. Steering sensitivity. Environmental sounds. Switch to trains. Let me try leaving for a second. Check your dev tool menu. I think it may be off there. I'll try that one again. Flight mode is off. Now, if I turn that back on, is that going to... Let me try something here. Look at that. I turned it back on. It came on. <laughs> oh, I got it, guys. Anyway. I don't know. Yeah, like I said, you guys had the right idea. Is 
It's just kind of interfering with each other. Hey, Nick and gang, is there a list of your go-to mods that you use on these multiplayer videos? I'd imagine you have a ton of them. Uh, recently, oh God, I'm not even going to attempt Styling Guy USA. Uh, usually the maps I've been playing lately come with their own mod packs. And that's what I've been using. But I do. I have a folder full of mods, but... Usually I use just what's included in the map and, and a few others if nothing's included. Like, uh, for instance, the Ricci Homestead map. It doesn't come with an auto-load log trailer. So I had to bring over my own. But, like, mostly everything you need for that map is right there. And so what I did was I brought a lot of the mods. I just took the whole mod pack over to this map. So there might be some conflictions there. I know some maps does don't like that dev tool. As soon as you start using it, things start going a little bonkers. Will not work in opposition. Yeah, I know. I thought that was, uh, I don't know what I was thinking, tell you the truth. I thought if it was off, it just wasn't activated, therefore you couldn't clear your HUD. You know what I mean? Fair enough. Ours wasn't the dev tool. It was a mod conflict with the map. The map was stolen, so we both threw it out of our folders. Good stuff, Robert. That's the proper thing. Try to get these maps from the original uploaders, guys. I know not... Some people are new to the community and they don't know the difference, right? That's like when I first started reviewing maps and mods. Wherever I found it, I just reviewed it from. I didn't think people were... I had no idea people were stealing them and uploading them in their own name, right? I was kind of blind to the fact that that was going on. I didn't learn until later on down the road. You know, it's better... I know some people don't like to have multiple... Uh, you know, have a Facebook account and have to go over to their site to get it. But you know what? Sometimes you're better off because it's a... It's a clean download, it's their own work, and they provide everything you need to play it properly, but some people try converting the map over themselves and they end up messing things up, and then, you know, people are questioning the original map makers why things are broken. It's like, well, number one, you got it from a, a sketchy site, but uh, I know some people don't like Facebook, and I totally get it. Or like, you know, these individual sites where you have to make accounts and stuff. But I'll tell you guys, like when I recommend Papa's site and like Winston or uh, Farmer Boys Modding, you know, the Trello site, everything is legit and safe for download if you stick with that. But like I said, when I first did it, I took a lot of heat because people are like, this is stolen and this is a, f you know... This, that, and the other thing, and you shouldn't be doing that. And it's like, I had no idea. I mean, and after a while, you learn the game, right? It's like, okay, I see what's happening here. And so now I try to get the links directly from the original uploader. The map maker, the mod maker. Because I don't want to condone that. I just had no idea. But yeah. I actually reviewed a map. I won't see the map maker, but he got a strike against my account because I had the I had a link for uh, a shady website where I found the map. I had no idea, and uh, he had it taken down. And he, had, I got it fixed after a while. But the thing was, I had no idea, and I would never do that because I, I really I don't condone those things, man. Map makers and mod makers put a lot of time and effort into this stuff, guys, and I would never step on somebody's toes like that. I want it legit. I wish people would stop doing that. 
you know and people call them out on their stuff because people that follow the community know what's going on and they know it shouldn't be on that site and they get called out for it and that would to me that would be so embarrassing you know what i mean like like how embarrassing you took somebody's map put your name on it like good lord or people that re, re, uh, release broken mods and they got their name all over it it's like oh good lord what a mess now thankfully I haven't seen too much of that lately but that used to go on quite a bit and before I knew how to check the log for LUA errors and stuff you know I had no idea unless it was really apparent what the problem was you know I didn't know cuz I'd review the mod and it seemed to work great for me and then I would get uh, you know comments that this is broken that's broken it's a piece of crap and it's like oh well I didn't notice that but that's kind of when I was f new to the game you know you learn a lot of you, you learn a lot of things after a while what to stay away from you know I use the dev tools on this map and have no problems. That's good. Tray set. <laughs> yeah, they will interfere with each other. I hate how you activate your flight mod and it it does like a two in one. When you activate your flight mod, it also acts as a HUD hider when you press the O button a lot of you know what I'm talking about and uh, <clears throat> it's frustrating when that happens because when you're in a harvester and you're trying to put your pipe out you keep clearing the HUD so I got to keep jumping out of it to review to reverse it I know most of you know what I'm what I'm saying there okay field one is clear we have 22 minutes left, folks. Thank you so much for joining me today, guys. Always a pleasure. If you have any questions about the map or anything like that, just let me know. And uh, if I can't answer it, I'll try to find some answers for you. Okay, we're just going to leave this guy here for now. Because we're going to take our plow out. Let's get this guy right out of the way for now. Look, look there's over 3 million liters in this, guys. And it's not even uh, half full. <laughs> so that's what I mean. Some of this stuff, you know, we just like to ramp it up a bit. Uh, that's why we can't have nice things. <laughs> we both now check all the maps and mods we use for the original builders. Yeah, it's hard for people. Like, I just, I, I the audacity of some people trying to pass off others' work as their own. When... I think they're just blind to the fact that people in the community know what's going on. When you played this game for years and you start, you know, knowing who the map makers are and stuff, and you know that's not their work, you know, some maps are tied down to certain map makers and you know that's not. And you look at the credits, it's like, nope, that's not you. Or they try to adjust something in the map and they totally break it and then the original map maker has to take grief over it and it's like yeah because you didn't download it from the right place but like I said if you're new to the community you might not know that right and you kind of put your foot in your mouth because you did a no-no without knowing it <laughs> but that's how we learn guys and unfortunately, there's always going to be jerks in the community. We just got to kind of get around that stuff if we can. If you see any stolen mods or anything, report them. You know, let the original person know. I mean, I don't know how many times we've seen, like, old man's maps on different sites with different things. And, I mean, the poor guy just stopped. He was going to give up the whole process of making maps because of that same with Stevie like he was he, he got fed up with it right 
And that's the unfortunate part because once it's on the internet, it's a free for all. And we all know that. Unfortunately, that's just the way it goes, right? But then we have the community here. If we notice things like that, always bring it to somebody's attention because that person will be made to look a fool, you know? Doesn't look like this tractor quite has the horsepower to be dealing with this, but he's moving anyway. Actually, what I might do is stop you right there and we'll switch up with our Fent over here. Hopefully this can handle the 3 million liters that's in here, but we'll find out in a second. Because I know this thing can pull that plow. And yeah, you know what I mean? That's just going to go on forever. I don't think that that's ever going to end. And it's unfortunate for, you know, the people that put a lot of time and effort into these maps. It's, it's disgusting. But all we can do is just report these people and just keep it as clean as we can because, you know, quite a few of you guys have been with the channel for a long time, so you know what's going on. I just got this map last night. I got a global company error and I needed to have above oh, I know, might have been a warning or not an error. I'm not sure about that one, Squid Monkey. A lot of production maps need the most current and close to the current. Yeah. Global company. Always make sure you're updating your global company mod, guys. Because if that thing, you know, sometimes if you're a version or two behind, it might not make a difference. But then again, it could make all the difference. Uh, Susie was just saying about a map we looked at was stolen. The person who stole it and released it didn't realize that the original had the same stamp secure. Oh, good. I just, like I said, I don't know if it's just because we're all adults here, but it's just the audacity of some people trying to pass off that stuff as their own when that poor person, you know, went through what the heartache they have been to make the map. Go over and watch Old Man 102 on, on, on Twitch, and you'll see how much it goes into making those maps. Like, months and months and months of work, and then, you know... Then you got people like Dixie over there trying to help out and, you know, everything's tested and retested. So it works nice and smooth and, you know, it's available for all of us for free. Doesn't cost us a cent, guys. And that's a beautiful thing. Look at this. He's having no problems with this. This one goes with a lot of mods. The original modders get things stolen and others take credit for them yeah and i've seen so many times like oh man uh stevie uh even papa smurf like they just once it happens once too many times you you do it like it's infuriating and there's that's the sad thing about it is there's nothing you can do about it the internet's the internet and it'll always be the internet if it's available for download it's available for fraud. And it's it's sad, but like I said, all we, we as a community can, you know, I don't mean to sound mushy or nothing, anything, but like when we notice these things, just let people know. That's the best thing you can do. Report it, whatever you have to do, and just, you know, maybe these guys will get sick of being looked at like they're little creeps and and some people just do it for spite you know I just hate when somebody you know goes back and attacks the original modder and it's like this is broken that's broken what kind of crap is this and it's like somebody else altered the mod or went in, went in and, and altered things in the XML and stuff where they shouldn't have been touching it to kind of give their own little twist on it and what they end up doing is breaking the map. Dixie question, what do the water fields do on Ricci?
Next one over how to drain the fields to see it past stream if you don't know how. Yeah, I used those uh, water cylinders to the side there, uh, Jan 86. And like I said, if you want to check out one of my uh, Let's Plays on that, I, sh I show how to use them. It doesn't have to be used in that manner. You can just plant it like a normal field, but it's the whole uh, aspect of the water fields. Like, I, I love it. I actually seen for the first time on YouTube, I was watching how they harvest cranberries. And I didn't know. I thought they flooded the fields for them to grow. Like, I thought that was just kind of the way it went. But what they do is they flood the fields and the cranberries float to the top. And that way they can get them all and herd them all into one corner to be sucked up by this huge vacuum that puts it into a uh, tipper. But I didn't know that. Uh, cranberries are hollow in the middle, so they float. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. If you watch those videos, you learn a little bit. But basically, yeah, the, the cranberries will float, so it's easier for them to harvest them that way. <clears throat> so what do we got left here? 13 minutes, folks. Pepsi. I need Pepsi. Okay, this guy's off to the races. Is he going side to side? Ah, that's all right. We'll let him go. Cedars are ready to roll out. We don't need them just yet. Let's see if this guy's going to struggle with this. Three million liters. I'm going to get this back to the farm. And maybe we can set up a fermenting silo to turn this into silage. Then I'm going to get a mower and we're going to start grass collecting. Ah, uh, not bad. Driving a little slow. No, that's 43. That's normal. No, it's not handling that too bad. But yeah, like I said, some mods we use are pretty outrageous, you know. It just saves time from having to go back and forth to the silo. Like, the capacity on this thing's huge. Look, it's over 3 million liters in it already, and it's only 30%, 36% full. Hopefully we'll have room for this in here. We'll deal with that later. 5, 34, 33. Okay, we'll just leave him there for now. Okay. So that field is being done. Okay, let's look for another field we can set this guy up at. go on the hunt here for product right now we're out here Susie has to go to rehearsal for her concert tonight awesome have a good one uh, Robert and Susie thank you so much for dropping by it's been a long time don't be a stranger drop in anytime you can I know life gets in the way and you got to do what you got to do, but yeah, guys, it's always a pleasure talking with you. We'll do this little tiny field here, 33, if we have the proper header. Look how small this guy is. Holy trees in the way. Yeah, it looks like we're going to have to do this one ourselves. Yeah, the trees are really close to these fields, aren't they? Yeah, we'll just take this one on ourselves. And I'm stuck in a tree. I don't know what this is. What is it? Oats. Do you get straw from oats? I kind of forget. Yes. I'll leave it behind. If we don't collect it, not a big deal. It's been rough. Never a problem. 
Oh, look, I got stuck on my own swath. I should be fired. Have a good one, Robert. Yeah, this little, little tiny field. Yeah, you know what? I'm actually not going to bother with this straw on this. It's too too small to bother with. We're just going to mow through this. Get this little guy done. But yeah, guys. First episode on this map. Learned a little bit more about the map today. We seem to uh, figure out a couple of problems there. But anything else that remains... I'm sure they'll be dealt with in the next update. Hopefully we can find a uh, resolution to the rum sales. And the sleep point trigger. Maybe one, one of them could be added as well. Quack, quack, quack. Yeah, the ducks are loud. We must be... No, I was going to say, we must be in Canada. No, we're in Vermont. Out of the way, birds. But as we're cracking on with the map, I'll introduce some of the factories and some of the production on this map. It's kind of all new to me. I did a review of the map, but I didn't actually play on the map until now. So some of these uh, existing things I kind of didn't know about, but I'll certainly pass on the word. And uh, we'll move on to the factory stuff, see how all that works. We'll make some maple syrup and sell it on the market. Okay, you're done, sir. Let's just park this guy to the side. Pipe out. See see what I mean? Like, the pipe is interfer interfering with the HUD clear. See how it does at the same time? That's the only thing with that. Smash that like button, yeah! I'd appreciate it, guys. It does help out the channel, and I always appreciate when you guys hit that like button. It's always very much appreciated. Okay, oh, what do we have here? Okay, hold on. We have oats inside. What is next door? What do we have growing over here? Is this also oats? No, probably not. No, barely. Needs plowing. Okay, we'll just leave this guy here for now, and we'll check on the rest of the fleet. Okay, let's get this guy out of here. We'll just pull this guy ahead for now. Facebook is fast growing. Yeah. Got over 1,100 people there now, guys. And there's another thing. If you haven't done so, follow us over on Discord and uh, Facebook. I always update over there. I let everybody know when I'm going live. I post my mod reviews over there as well. And yeah, if you have a Facebook account, come on over and we'd love to have you. Okay, this guy has the oats. This guy we got to find some work for. So where are we at here? Is that higher worker in one stuck? No. He's he's plowing, right? We'll bring it on down to 16, see what we have down here. But uh, I will be back here on Sunday, guys. Same time. And we're going to pick up where we left off. Oh, no. We need a different header. That is sunflowers, I do believe. Yep. Yeah. We'll need a different header for that, so we'll just move over to uh, maybe 20 is not a good deal because it looks like there's a bunch of trees in the way. How about 19? What's in 19? 
Don't crash. Don't crash. Saving. Good, good, good. Yeah, there's a little delay here. I'm just... There we go. Okay, 19 and 17 are done. Let's double check over here. Make sure. No, 19's... Remove tops. What's in 19? Some kind of root crop. Potatoes. Wow. Um... Let us go over and we'll grab a potato harvester while we have a couple of minutes here, guys. Let's go shopping. So we're going to head over to, this is, uh, I brought this over from the homestead map. Because there's a fantastic homer harvester here that should be able to deal with the potatoes. We'll pick that up. And we're going to change that hideous color. And we're going to change this to black. Is that black? Or is that black? That's all right. We'll go with that. Uh, capacity, we're going to bring that up. To, it's at a million liters right now. We can go five million liters, guys. Five, two, and one. <laughs> That's kind of weird. 990,000 liters or a, or a million liters. Uh, we'll go with the 2 million. We don't need that, but we'll go ahead and buy it anyway. Uh, let's go with that. Oh, not enough money. Good Lord, did I spend all that already? That's a half a million dollars? Good Lord, man. Is that price changing? Look at it. Oh, that's my balance going down. Look at the price of this thing. I, ne I never knew that. Look, we don't have enough. Hi from Turkey, bro. That's so cool. Welcome, welcome. I get a fair few personal messages from people asking me about you, Nick. Happy to answer your questions best I can. Thank you for that, uh, Dean. I really appreciate it, bud. That helps me out big time. Well, we're going to have to wait to buy that. That's quite an expensive harvester. Let's go down to 23 here, see what that is. Since we can't do the uh, sunflowers here just yet. Doesn't look like that field's ready. That one didn't pop yet, did it? Yeah, it's still growing. 50% fertilized. Okay, we're going to have to check our HUD here. This is the only way to do it. Okay, that one. We'll head over to 21. What's in 21? 21 is wheat. I'd say wheat. Let's try that. This one's not quite ready yet. Just down to the last minute here, folks. Like I said, thank you so much for dropping by, guys. Always a pleasure talking to you in the chat. And I can't get through the woods. Oh, road. Beautiful. Coming up on the whiskey factory here. Am I going to be able to get in there? Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, stop sign. I'll have time to get hooked up to my header, and then I'm going to have to wrap things up here, guys, unfortunately, for the day. But, like I said, I'll be back here on Sunday, and we'll pick up right where we left off. All right, getting a little bit of lag there, but not too bad. Okay, guys, I'm going to leave that right there. I'm going to go over to my stream ending soon, and I'm going to get caught up with the chat here just before I go. Can you guess the number one question about you, Nick, I get asked? Uh, 
when's the next review <laughs> I don't know or uh, how I'm doing with the cigarettes good still doing pretty good guys but no not a clue uh, Dean I did take a break there for a while so it could be like when is Nick coming back but I'm not a hundred percent but uh, like I said guys always a pleasure thank you so much for dropping by I will be back on Sunday I'm gonna try to get my review up for tomorrow if I can guys um, just been a bit a, a little bit busy the last couple of days here I have time for the let's plays but the uh, reviews take me a little bit more time and effort and uh, but I, I'm gonna get cracking on that again guys I'm getting used to streaming and making my reviews without cigarettes now that was a big hurdle to get over but it seems to be uh, working out pretty good and it's getting a little easier see you next time have a good night thank you Dixie you guys have a wonderful evening and we will what does Nick look like <laughs> one of these days i'll do a face reveal guys and break your break your monitors <laughs> no i'm not i'm not that hideous <laughs> uh see you later guys see you dean thanks for dropping by guys have a wonderful evening and we will catch you sunday take care guys